Alright, what's going on lovely legends? We're gonna show you how to get some modern started for Oblivion Remastered. Not many videos out yet, getting it all set up and, and organized properly, so we're gonna be touching on that today. So firstly, you're obviously gonna wanna have Oblivion Remastered installed. Please ensure you have the original Oblivion game uninstalled because the uh, the mod manager is gonna be another mod manager. Sorry, the um, the construction set is gonna have a fit trying to find the original game, but we want it to actually find remastered. So ensure you have remastered installed. Ensure you got the original game uninstalled, and you should be good to go. Then I'm gonna go over to Vortex. Look up the TS4 construction set, the original. Get out of files and just manual download. We are also going to want to grab the Oblivion Remastered Vortex support. So this is uh, just an extension. Same thing. All right. Mod Manager download will automatically add the, uh, if you've already got Vortex installed, it'll automatically add the, um, the extension. Been a while. Uh, this one. It'll add, the, it'll add that automatically. <clears throat> and then we're going to grab Xedit. So Xedit, you can go to the Discord. And this is there. I'll leave all the links for everything in the description. For easy access. But if you want to find it, it's Xedit. Scroll down to Xedit Builds. And it's the first one here. This will take you to a GitHub repository. And you're going to go up to Releases, Code Releases. Scroll down. And it's just going to be this first one here. Don't worry about the source code. You don't need this. It's just the first one here. Now, once that's done, you're also going to grab Happer's Fix and Port script. This is for XEdit only. Now, you'll want to download this same way. Just grab the manual. Okay. And you'll want to install that file where your XEdit is installed. And in the data, we're going to create a new folder called xedit. We're going to throw that in. And this is where we're going to extract our downloads. So this is our downloads here. Extract those into this xedit file. Once that is done, grab and extract your fix. Go into your edit scripts and paste it inside here, that pass file. Adding our tools, so you scroll down to the tool section. If you don't see them here, you click Add and click New. The name doesn't matter. The target's obviously where your actual xEdit file is, and you're going to name this dash tes4r. This is for remaster. This is very important, and make sure this is exactly written out how it is, or it will not work. And then you click Save, and you're done. I'm not going to do that because I've already done it. Uh, the quick auto clean, set up the exact same way, just your TS4, make sure you're running your program to the quick auto clean and that will be set up, ready to go. Then you can run your test edit. If the fixed script can be applied through apply scripts and through here. It does minor stuff, it still is doing new cells or anything like that can't be fixed just yet, but minor changes and, and smaller quality of life mods can be brought back from the original using this tool. We're going to open up our construction kit now. Install correctly. If you don't have the Oblivion, um, actual Oblivion original game installed, and you've just got a remaster, when you store, when you go to install construction set, it will ask you the directory you want to use. I place the exe there. It doesn't really matter where you put this, but it's just for easy use when you want to find it. Boot that up, it'll ask you for where it is. You click on obviously the, the main directory where the exe is installed and it should load up beautifully. 